Video Friday with Art Resin. Hey guys, it's Friday, which means it's Video Friday, and today I'm going to be talking about layering. Pouring multiple layers or second layers. Um, we actually have two different methods to do it. I'm not sure if you knew that, so I'm going to walk you through both of them. The first one is the 24-hour method. This is the one that you see us use most often. Um, so we poured our resin yesterday, and as you can here, it's absolutely dry to the touch. So this method you would use if you had an imperfection, if you had something you needed to repair, you found a hair or a bubble or a bug in your dried resin. Um, the most important thing to remember is when your resin is dry, you have to sand if you want to pour a second layer. And the reason for that is you want to create some tooth. You want to rough it up so that the fresh resin layer has something to bond to. Okay, so for something like this, we usually use sanding paper to create that tooth. Okay, so I'm just going to sand it down here with 80 grit coarse sandpaper. Okay, so it's all scuffed up. I'm just going to get rid of all this residue here because we don't want that in our fresh pour. Okay, so this tooth, all these scratch marks here, that's going to give some bite for the fresh resin layer to, to hang on to because if it, you poured uh, fresh resin on a smooth layer, the two layers aren't going to be able to adhere to each other. They won't be able to bond. And down the road, you might find that your second resin layer actually peels off. It delaminates off your first resin layer. So creating some tooth by sanding is super important. Another way you can create tooth is by painting on your dried resin. That The paint itself will provide that tooth for the fresh resin layer to grip to. Okay, I'm just going to torch here. And you can see all those scratch marks have disappeared. Okay, so that is your 24 hour method. So the second method is called the three to five hour method. So if you wanna take a look down here, I actually poured this resin this morning. It's been sitting for about five hours and you can see it's kinda, of, it hasn't cured yet. It's still soft and pliable, right? It's thickened up, but it's still very pliable and it's still sticky as well. If I put my finger in there, it's still very tacky. Okay, so now with this method, because it's tacky, that's providing the tooth. I don't need to sand this, and in fact, I couldn't sand it because it's too sticky. So one instance when the three to five hour method would be a good choice is for something like this. For a wood board here that has a hole that requires like six or seven layers of resin, it's gonna take you six or seven days if you use the 24 hour method. So pouring every three to five hours would be perfect on a project like this. Another method, is embedding. So if you wanted to embed something really light, like glitter, if you poured glitter into wet resin, it would just absolutely float away. So the three to five hour method is perfect. You can see for something like this, I'm gonna pour the glitter, it's just sitting where I want it to be. Also, if you're embedding something really heavy, like rocks, if you poured, put these into liquid resin, again, they would just float right to the bottom. So this method is super handy for embedding heavy items. And then last, if you're pouring into a mold, or even something like this that has a really high lip, um, and you want to pour multiple layers again, this is super handy using the three to five hour method. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. Now because this resin that I poured this morning is still wet and tacky, this fresh resin layer is going to stick right to it. The two of them are going to bond with no sanding required. So that's it. Two layers of resin, two different ways. That's your Video Friday. Video Friday with our resin. Ah, oh, thank God that's over.